Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from CBSC class 10, 2024-25, sample question paper for mathematics standard with subject code 041, section D where each question is of 5 marks. Now this question is from some applications of trigonometry chapter. A boy whose eye level is 1.35 meter from the ground spots a balloon moving with the wind in a horizontal line at some height from the ground. The angle of elevation of the balloon from the eyes of the boy at an instant is 60 degrees. After 12 seconds, the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees. If the speed of the wind is 3 meters per second, then find the height of the balloon from the ground and use square root of 3 as 1.73. So let us try to understand this question by using a rough figure first. So here we have a rough figure drawn. Now let us start over here. It's mentioned that a boy whose eye level is 1.35 meters from the ground. So here you can see we have drawn a person and the eye level from the ground is going to be 1.35 meters. Now he is looking at a balloon which is flying in the air. And the first position of the balloon is marked over here. And the angle of elevation. Now here you can see I have drawn a line. This is the line of sight. That is if the person looks straight. This is called as line of sight. From line of sight, the person is looking upwards. So that is what we call it as angle of elevation. So when he is looking at the balloon, his eyes will make an angle of elevation or an angle of 60 degrees. Now the balloon is moving in a horizontal direction. So here the number 2 shows the position of the balloon after its horizontal movement. Now again, the person looks at this balloon and when he is looking at the balloon at position 2, the angle of elevation reduces from 60 degree to 30 degree. So that is what we have marked over here. And the time taken by the balloon to move from position 1 to position 2 is given as 12 seconds. So we have marked over here 12 seconds. Now here we need to find out what is the total height of the balloon from the ground. So before we can proceed, let us convert this 12 seconds into meters. Because we have to find out the height which is in meters. Here also the height of the person is given as 1.35 meters. So we are going to represent the seconds in terms of meters. And for that they have given a help over here. That is the speed of the wind was mentioned as 3 meters per second. So to find out the distance we are going to make use of the distance, speed and time formula. So the formula is distance equal to time times speed. And the time is given as 12 seconds for the balloon to move from position 1 to position 2. So the speed of the wind will be equal to the speed of the balloon now. So here the time is 12 seconds times the speed of the balloon is 3 meters per second. So the distance covered by the balloon in 12 seconds is 36 meters. So let us change this 12 seconds into 36 meters now. Now once we have done this, let us draw a more simplified figure now. So I have drawn this figure again for easy reference. So here we have drawn the simplified figure. So OGF represents the ground and OA represents the person. And here B and D represents the position 1 and position 2 of the balloon. And B, G and D, F represents the height of the balloon. Now here we have drawn a line of sight from the person. That is the line A, C, E represents the line of sight going straight. And the points where the line of sight cuts the height, we have named the point as C and E. We did this to form two right angled triangles as you can see over here. So ACB forms a right angle triangle with angle A being 60 degrees and the second right angle triangle is going to be AED with angle A 30 degrees now. Now here we have marked the distance between B and D as 36 meters and the distance between the person and the position 1 we do not know that is why we have written here X meters. So here we have to ultimately find out the total height of the balloon from the ground. So let us begin with the calculations for triangle ABC. So we have drawn here, the triangle ABC is written here, with AC being X meter, AC is same as OG because the length of AC is same as OG. So AC is X meters over here with angle A being 60. And same thing is done for the second right angle triangle, that is angle A is taken as 30 degree. The total length that is AE is nothing but AC plus CE, which is again X meter plus 36 meters. So we have written here X plus 36. Now let us begin with right angle triangle ABC. Now here we are going to make use of a trigonometric ratio which is tan to find out the height BC. So here we have written in triangle ABC the tan of angle A is equal to 
the tan is always the opposite side over the adjacent side now the side opposite to the 60 degree is bc the side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse and the remaining side becomes the adjacent so here the tan is represented as opposite over adjacent so opposite side is bc as we have written here over the adjacent side which is ac now once we have written it we are going to represent the angle a with its value that is tan of 60 degree equal to now we do not know what is the height bc so we have written bc over here divided by now ac is x meter now taking x on the other side of the equal to sign x multiplies with tan 60 so we get bc is equal to x times tan 60 and 60 is a standard angle so tan 60 is going to be square root of 3 so we have written here bc is equal to x times square root of 3 now let us consider this as our equation 1 Now using similar steps let us proceed to the second right angle triangle so in triangle ade we are again going to take the tangent of angle a so tan of a is equal to opposite side that is opposite to 30 degree is de the side opposite to 90 degree will be the hypotenuse so the remaining side becomes the adjacent so we have written here opposite over adjacent that is de over ae now here the length of bc is same as length of de as we can see from this figure so the length of bc is same as length of de so here in place of de we have replaced bc and we have written tan of angle a that is 30 degree in this case so tan of 30 is equal to bc over the value of ae is x plus 36 now taking x plus 36 on the other side of equal to sign we get bc is equal to x plus 36 times tan 30 and 30 is again a standard angle and the value of tan 30 is 1 over square root of 3 so we have got the second equation as bc is equal to x plus 36 times 1 over square root of 3 now equation 1 is equal to equation 2 because both the equations are for bc now combining these two equations we have so equation 1 is equal to equation 2 so square root of 3 times x is equal to x plus 36 over square root of 3 Now taking square root of three on the other side of equal to sine, square root of three multiplies with square root of three, giving us three x is equal to on the right hand side remains x plus thirty six. Now taking x on the left hand side, we get three x minus x is equal to thirty six, and three x minus one x gives us two x is equal to thirty six. Now taking two on the other side of equal to sine, thirty six divided by two, we get the value of x as eighteen meters. Now remember we have to find out the total height of the balloon. So in this figure we have found out the value of x, but here we need to find out dg or df. So for that let us make use of the equation one now. So we have written here the equation one that is bc is equal to x times square root of three, and x value we got it as eighteen. So we have substituted the value over here eighteen times square root of three. And in the question they had told us to use the square root of three value as one point seven three. So here, eighteen times one point seven three gives us thirty one point one four meters. So that is the height of the balloon from the line of sight. That is this value. Now, once we have got this, to find out the total height of the balloon, we are going to add this BC along with CG, or same thing as OA. So here we have written the total height of the balloon is CG plus BC. So CG is the height of the person. That is one point three five. Plus BC value we got it as thirty one point one four meters. So adding these two, we get the total height of the balloon as thirty two point four nine meters. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then you can click on these videos where you will find more examples of these kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.